Hi, Luke Gordon here with another video about vertigo. And in this video, we're going to cover what to do when the Epley maneuver goes wrong. So uh, for some people, it doesn't happen that often, but if you've got vertigo, so inner ear vertigo like BPPV, and you've got torsional vertigo, which means that your eyes are twisting when you uh, do the testing for it, which is the Dix Hall Pike test, um, the most common thing that you'll do then to treat it is the Epley maneuver. So if you're familiar with that and you've done the Epley maneuver, once in a while, you'll treat that vertigo and the Epley will actually make you feel worse. So I want to just explain um, why that happens and what's going on when you actually feel worse with the Epley and then how to treat it after that. Um, because what can happen essentially is that you can change from a torsional vertigo, which is indicating uh, one of the canals in your inner ear, your posterior canal, and it can switch to a horizontal nystagmus where your eyes are going side to side, which is indicating that that crystal, that inner ear crystal has moved to your horizontal canal. So let's talk through that really quick. And then I'm going to talk you through then what should you do um, if that's the case. So again, let's go back to the beginning. So you're using the Epley maneuver because you've got those little ear, inner ear crystals or rocks and you've you've located it back to that posterior canal, which means when you do the Dix Hall Pike test, um, you're getting the torsional nystagmus. I'm not going to go any deeper than that because I've got other videos that cover that. Um, so again, you're doing the Epley maneuver and then, um, what you do after the Epley is you take a little break, take a couple minutes off, and then you want to retest to see if you still have the issue, if you still have the vertigo and the torsional nystagmus. So you'll go back and you'll do the Dix Hall Pike test again. Now, again, what, what you might see then if you feel worse is you do the Dix Hall Pike and someone's watching your eyes for you. And then your eyes are now going sideways. They're no longer twisting. It's no longer torsional nystagmus. They're now doing like a side to side horizontal nystagmus. So what that means then is that when you did the Epley maneuver and you were trying to roll that crystal through the posterior canal and back out the little opening that it came from where, where it belongs is that instead of going back through that opening, it accidentally floated into the horizontal canal instead. Uh, which the openings to those two canals, the posterior and horizontal, are right next door to each other. So first off, you didn't do anything wrong with the Epley. Um, you didn't do it incorrectly. Maybe you did, but not necessarily. Um, more than likely, it just happened. So again, in about 5 10% of people, this happens. I hate it when it happens because I feel bad about it. But in reality, you didn't do anything wrong. It just happens once in a while. So now you know, though, that the crystal didn't go back where it belongs. It floated into the next canal. So... What you need to do next then is basically follow my videos that I've put up on um, how to diagnose and treat horizontal uh, canal nystagmus. So I'll pop those at the end of this video. I'll pop one up here now too if you want to skip to that. But essentially what you need to do now is you need to just figure out how to treat the horizontal canal vertigo. The nice thing though is you already know what side you're on. You already know if you're treating the right ear posterior canal versus the left ear, you already know that when you did the Epley, it didn't change ears. It just moved to the right side. At least I think you can assume that. Maybe you need to be extra thorough, but that's usually what I assume is that, okay, I know this thing moved over here, so now I'm going to proceed to test for it. So let me walk you through what that looks like. Again, you can, you can go to the full video if you'd rather. I'll pop it at the end of this as well. Um, but basically, what you need to do then is you need to do the supine roll test, uh, which I'm not going to explain that in huge detail right now. Supine roll test, and you need to see which direction that horizontal canal is beating. And that'll tell you which version of the Gafani maneuver to use. So let me just say that again. Uh, do the supine roll test. You're going to check out the, the horizontal canal nystagmus. You're going to figure out basically if it's beating down towards the ground or if it's beating up towards the ceiling. And then you're going to, based on that, you're going to pick which version of the Gafani maneuver you're going to use. Nice thing with the Gafani, it's super easy to use. It's, it's an easy one to perform. And then after the Gafani, you're just going to retest the person with the horizontal or with the supine roll test to see if you've relieved the nystagmus and the vertigo. That's great. Um, and then you'd be done essentially at that point. Um, if it doesn't relieve the vertigo and the nystagmus, then you could take a break and then retreat. So let me just recap that because I feel like it's a lot of terms. It gets confusing. You did the Epley. The Epley then created a horizontal canal issue. The eyes are no longer twisting. They're now beating from side to side horizontally. So you're in the horizontal canal, okay? Next thing you do is supine roll test, which all that means is you bring the person up into supine with, the, with your head flexed. Probably shouldn't even try to explain. Do the supine roll test, which will help you determine which version of the Gafani that you do. Then you do the Gafani. Then finally, over here on my thumb, you retest. See where you're at. 
So again, watch my videos. I've got two videos. The first one's on how to tr how to diagnose horizontal canal vertigo. Again, to help you make sense of if the eyes are beating down towards the ground or up towards the ceiling. Um, that's going to help you determine which Gafani to use. I've got a second video after that that then explains the Gafani. So I'll post those two videos at the end of this one so you can use it. I hope that was helpful and not super confusing like it kind of sounds in my brain right now. Um, post a comment or question below if you have anything. And please like the video and subscribe before you go. Thanks for watching.